Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in my garden. And this is the Daily Duo, where we uh, both read in, um, in different mediums on the day. I read tarot cards, and Nancy Jean reads crystals in the garden. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. We both offer uh, personal readings. We both also offer physical goods uh, on our respective websites. I um, have this lovely own t-shirt available on my website in five different colors uh, from small to 4X. Uh, and I can ship them internationally. I also have textiles. Nancy Jean has gardens, which is below and grids, which are in her hand. Mm -hmm. on her website which is crystal crystal directions, directions. With an s.com okay and mine is uh ripecolor.com um and do you want to say something about how we read and what we read uh what we read is we read a general vibration for the day for the collective and we um it, the garden works a little differently in a way from Jeffrey's, we get vibrations, but the garden is something that was channeled through me starting last February. And its role is to take us out of duality and to allow us to look across all the opportunities that we have to work with energy and frequency. So the way I word the question in my mind is I'm tossing the stones and Jeffrey does the same thing unless we pick a topic for a day uh, is, What's what does the general collective need to know? What's the vibrations and frequencies that are going on around it right now? Is that where we are today, Jeffrey? See, okay. yes, yes, okay. <laughs> okay. You ready to go? Okay. No, I am. Okay, go. All right. This is for the twelfth, December twelfth. Okay, so let's begin. No, it's not. Audie. It's for December 13th. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> Good thing we're doing it together. I otherwise, know. I'd be reading I mean, for February. That's probably true. <laughs> Obviously, the first thing we need to say about today is the readers are not focused. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, look at this. I got resurrection. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, no wonder you're not focused. That's a whole lot of energy to pour through. Your body. Yeah. So I, I, this is an incredible, this is an incredible card. This is really about, uh, um, for me, this is really about a lesson learned fully and completely and utterly and in your body, in your mind, in your physical environment and really being reborn in it. That's what this is about. It's also this tremendous intuition coming on. There's tremendous amount of hearing, of feeling coming from directly. So like you're feeling something in your body, it's absolutely spot on. You're feeling something, you're hearing something, it's absolutely spot on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then for mine, look what I got. Open-mindedness. Um, be, be ready and take any opportunity that comes along. Uh, idealistic. Uh, also, there's a sense of um, um, anything can happen. Anything can happen. It's very like open-minded. Anything can happen. And there's an enthusiasm and an idealism and um, a curiosity. Curiosity. Right. Then for spirit, I get spirit really, really very grounded, very practical. Very practical. Okay, what makes sense here? Mm-hmm. You know? What can be accomplished today? What can actually get done? What can, you know, very practical. Th mm -hmm. This is the practical queen. <laughs> you don't mean many of those. Nope. And then <laughs> for grounding, I get actually like, a, actually there's a stableness to this card. You know, he's by the tree. I feel like a message could come through, but I'm not so sure. It's funny because I, I feel like the message wants to come through and the enthusiasm, but I'm not so sure. You might need to hear it twice or something. Yeah. You might need to hear it twice. 
And then for clarity, I get profound clarity. <laughs> I get um, really seeing things for what they are, mm -hmm. really seeing things for what they are. And there's no, um, this is not a, a, maybe this, maybe that. It, it, there's none of that going on here. The whole, for me, the whole reading is very like, boom. Mm -hmm. it, it's right in front of you. It's not like, well, what is this? Um, it, it's a hamburger. It's not like, oh, I'm not really sure what this is. It's like, no, we're sure what this is. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the, this very um, clear, concise, sort of uh, physical, uh, no denying type right. of energy. That's what I got for the day. Okay. Well, interestingly, I got some things that are very close to it. We're going to start with the sort of outlier in the circle, which is spirit. And spirit is locked between fire and restate. And when you get restate in this spirit, it says you're going in the right direction, but you need some clarification. Mm -hmm. And when it's caught, when spirit gets caught up in fire, it said thoughts from the past are clouding. So that would say to me is some of that indecision, some of that sitting at the tree saying, which way do I go? That's coming from dealing from past issues. And mm -hmm. we need to get rid of those. You need to let those go. Mm -hmm. But, and you're going to let them go because the mind is between water and true and when the mind is in true it is saying positive thoughts will help you manifest what you need and your thoughts are all important so the whole vibration of this is it counteracts this mm -hmm. okay sometimes we get the message shut your mind down and let your spirit talk in this case it's your spirit's confused it needs to run it through some of your thought processes to get to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Now, where we sit physically is uh, for us to move physically. This is the body and it's, we need to move forward and to feel, go with our gut. And it's going to tell us what the next step is. And the, and the, it also, when two things touch in two spaces here, you read both. Um, for those who have not visited us before, and physical changes are coming. So the, the gut feelings and the things you're going to need to move forward, they're heading towards you. So that's, that's your path forward. But what you have where it's grounding you right now in earth is your values or grounding. And it says things are going to be moving forward very, very quickly soon. And your clarification is in earth. And it says you have many paths ahead of you but the correct one will appear to you through your intuition. Mm -hmm. So I think we got the same thing. We, we're right. leaping so off many cliff. paths ahead of you and the correct path will appear through your intuition. Right, right, right. right. You've got, and use your own judgment, use your own right. judgment about, you know, where you want to go. But this is, this is really positive. And this is kind of a switch from what we've had recently. We've had a lot of put your mind on the back burner, but this time it's saying, don't overthink it. Right. But do run it through a rational process. Yeah. 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 There's a real open-mindedness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely reading. So it's interesting. And in the holiday season and when things are sort of slowing down, like though I say, nothing happens between Thanksgiving and New Year's. I think people are, are reaching a point where they're saying, do I go this way or that way? Mm -hmm. I think it's just part of our human pattern. Mm -hmm. And so this is a nice day to reflect, go and think what you want to do. I don't see any grand, I see the action being set up, the paths becoming clear, but I don't see people moving the collectively. It's not a day when a lot of things are going to move forward. Mm -hmm. So we want to pick yeah, a flower choices, for today. Yeah, there's a lot of like choices in a way. You want to throw a thing? Yeah, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw, pull a plant, pull one out of my language of flowers deck right. since I have a garden. And since we love flowers. And we love especially flowers. Especially in December. Yeah, because there are, well, where I live, there are still flowers, but not so much with Jeffrey. <laughs> They're inside. Yeah, here we go. Azalea. Mm, which there are not many of them out here, this part oh, of the world. Azaleas are so lovely. Yes, but it means temperance. Find the balance that has occurred. 
Mm. So this is finding your balance so you can move forward with the steady step, I think. Find balance. Yeah. Okay. Blessings. Blessings. See you tomorrow. <laughs>